Let's see what's coming next season on Fortnite. Fortnite live event will take us into chapter six, and from the permanent return of OG to the biggest collab in this game's history. All right, who's all excited for Fortnite OG season one map? Here is everything. I need. am. December first is the official start date, and usually the first season always feels super long, but not this time. On February twenty first, we'll head into season two, giving us just ten weeks of the upcoming samurai theme. That's right. The nice. Map is going to be based on Japanese. Pretty stoked knowledge, on that. Taking us back to traditional Japan with Masamune blades, samurai bosses. Oh hell yeah! This isn't I like, like those. From chapter four that was futuristic. Instead, leaked props show us exactly what the vibe is going to be, and I cannot wait. There's going to be tons of bosses on the map for us to fight and i'm wondering if we might be able to duel them with the new mythic blades Very mm. dude that'd be kind of cool like uh katanas we melee mode there won't be cyberpunk theme what we do know is that there'll be a massive forest region on the map that'll be affected by the time of day let me explain this will be the first location in battle royale history to change at nighttime by that i mean in the day there will be different animals and npcs roaming around compared to the evening which is pretty cool. It makes you wonder if the entire map will have a new time mechanic. In fact, some of these creatures roaming around the jungle. Won't I miss riding on creatures. Why did they take that out to begin with? Giving us some new animals like sprites. These are cat-like spirits that'll wander the map, and we'll be able to find different types like water, air, and of course, just basic ones. They all have unique voice lines and are related to shrines on the island. I'm guessing we'll have to guide these spirits back to their temple. Yeah, I agree. Say goodbye. Actually, I agree. Kind of sad when you think about it. If I had to guess, I think these sprites will look more like foxes or kitsunes than cats. That's not all. Leakers have revealed the wetlands biome has deer sounds, which could mean these guys will be roaming during the day. We are also going to see the return of one of the best features of 2024, medallions. I'm not These a big fan of medallions. Success of chapter five, so it's no wonder they're coming back next season, and it looks like they're going to be massively changed. Instead of being one of the most sought-after items on the map, we're gonna see a smaller set of medallions that aren't as game-changing. It makes sense when. So what is that like? They're gonna put them in chests now or something? You can find medallions in chests and stack them, and there will be like tons of them around the map or something. You learn that Epic is bringing back a canceled feature. Reality augments are making a surprise. I return, dude but did like this a lot. More differently to how we remember them. I guess the past year of experimenting I miss the augments. The scenes has been successful as they're finally reviving it. So you're probably Good. wondering what other kinds of places we'll explore in chapter six. And well, despite the fact we know the theme, it doesn't mean the whole map will be traditional. Leakers have already revealed that the island will have an industrial town POI, which feels a little out of character. So maybe this is an area that'll expand as the season goes on, taking us into our next theme. Only time will tell, but we also know that there's another POI hiding in the files as we speak. It's called a trophy room, and that's all that's confirmed for now. I just huh. gotta say, the last time we had one of those, it was full of dead superheroes, so I'll take anything less dark than that. And yes, things can get a whole lot darker. I wonder if it's like a personal trophy room. Void in chapter six. Two upcoming reality augments will give you a void shield and a new version of the junk rip, which will probably summon items from this void to wipe out all of our enemies. So are we getting some kind of alternate dimension that can attack players? If so, dark but incredible. But fans are most excited for for something totally different <coughs> fortnite has officially made the announcement this is not a drill og is coming back and is here to stay explore the og map collect og loot and relive og seasons yeah, nice let's go going down on december 6th we're starting from the very first season with the most original map you could get and over time epic will update the mode to progress through every single island of chapter one that means we'll get the return of classics like Neo Tilted, Season X, The Volcano, all of it. Now we just got to hope they replay the live events too. Speaking of, we don't have to wait long for our next one. Yeah, I wonder if they're going to do that. Whole year for a true live event, but luckily that time has come around again. The Chapter 5 finale will take us straight into the next season with a little downtime in the middle. But as for what yeah, to expect, of course. this will be a fully fledged concert, something we haven't got to experience since Ariana Grande in Chapter 2. It's been a really long time and it's It'll feature all the rappers from Remix. Most importantly, Juice World, who is gonna let's go, the Juice World. Will be introduced to the new first-person mechanic. This is gonna be one of the biggest changes. I don't even know if I'm gonna use that. Epic finally implemented, and honestly, who's it's gonna, gonna use first-person? Be honest. Now, I don't need to tell you what Leave it in the comments. Look like because players are already getting an early look in creative mode, and all those maps can be officially published on December 11. One day before that, we'll get the first update of Chapter 6, and it'll bring our yearly tradition for the holidays. Winterfest is coming back. 
Well, there are rumors. Nice. Not only will we get the usual festive event. Love Winterfest. OG will give Best time of the year on Fortnite, for sure. Fortnite, the very first version of Winterfest all the way back from 2018. So as we look beyond towards newer items, Chapter 6 is giving us the resurrection of a chaotic weapon. The quad launcher was always a pretty strange item. People either loved it or oh, I liked picked it. it up. Now, leakers have discovered files for an updated version. Comparing it side by side with the old model, you can definitely see they are upgrading the graphics in time for a new chapter. Let's think about this oh, for yeah. a second. Imagine if this was moddable too. I just wonder how ridiculous first person is going to look with it. But that is nothing compared to the huge update that'll change the way you move in Fortnite. Of course, with the new chapter comes new movement, and this time around, we're going to be swinging like Spider-Man. They're adding items like chandeliers. Didn't they do that in chapter four? To swing with which is going to be insane for zero build players. That's not all. We'll be able to repel up and down ropes, so I'm expecting some pretty big cliffs and mountains at zero build. That's probably not going to be in OG it though. Be climbing the trees in the new forest area, or you could probably jump up there with the upcoming wall running mechanic. Depending on your speed. Ah, uh, you we could have done without this, right? One of the most Leave it in the comments if you like that. This is going to turn the game. Into I am stoked about this. Around. I am I am stoked about prone. I've been literally talking about putting prone in Fortnite Let's for start. I don't even know how long. I've been wanting it. As a Call of Duty guy from back in the day, going prone would be freaking awesome, especially going prone back in the bushes, dude, just sniping away. Hell yeah, sign me up. Some people think it'll be exclusive to the open world mode. I'll get into what that is later in the video. For now, we can look forward to some insane crossovers, especially vehicles. Recently, we've been getting a ton of cars like the Porsche GT3 RS and the McLaren Senna, but now it's time for motorsports, and that's where NASCAR comes in. Ah, Thanks to a leaked employee post, whatever. Since vehicles are just around the corner, maybe you prefer original vehicles. Luckily, you'll be able. To I already own that in Rocket League, so. Already out in Rocket League, and we'll of course port over for free to Fortnite as an SUV. But I'm most excited for the best vehicle collab of all. Cars. By that, I mean Pixar cars, because Lightning McQueen and Mater are officially coming to Fortnite next season. It will be the strangest thing to drive around in, considering they're, you know, alive. Not sure the implications yeah. of that, but I do know it's going to look so derpy when Vehicle Royale comes to Chapter 6. It is an actual mode Epic's developing, so if you love the Wasteland season, you're going to be obsessed with this one. By the title, it is Vehicles Only. For now, it's for duos, where one player takes the wheel and the other controls the weapons. Just like Wrecked, it'll feature all the classic upgrades, from vehicle attachments to nitro and flaming hoops and that's not all they're introducing extra vehicle mods for this mode letting you shoot enemies with lasers and rockets not the only ltm to shake up the meta uh, i might try that mode we'll see a permanent addition this next one is going to be very temporary Fortnite is working on a game where we'll fight each other with melee weapons. Oh, I literally just said that in the beginning of the freaking video. Hammers. I'm sitting here wondering why they haven't done this sooner. Now, there's a collab no one was expecting. The Marvel season is already over, but that doesn't mean they're done. Turns out, Epic is taking part in a crossover with Marvel Rivals. Anyone who plays that game might be able to get Fortnite-themed outfits for their favorite superheroes. I, I don't even know if I'm going to play that, to be honest. On December 6th, when it drops. For any future Disney-related crossovers, though, I wouldn't get your hopes about characters like Mickey Mouse entering the shop soon. A lot of people would love to see this happen, but Epic has admitted that some characters are totally off limits for modes like Battle Royale. Kind of like how Lego that makes sense. have its very own family-friendly mode, some busy skins will not be able to hold guns. For festival players, uh. we've known who the next artist is for a while now, except the crossover is in trouble. New jeans have been very anticipated, yet they're currently in a I don't even know who that is. record label, recently <laughs> sending a letter threatening to terminate their contract if it isn't resolved. This could mean that New Jeans doesn't even exist in time for their collab in January. That's okay. Well, the biggest mystery of Chapter 6 will be the open world mode. This I am kind of excited about this. Secret, we'll see. Fans really don't have an idea of what could be involved. Whether it's an RPG with quests, a survival game with hunger bars, or a mix of the Maybe two. Maybe I'll play this with gamble. the family. Buy the Chapter 6 Battle Pass. Make sure you use code T5G to support videos like this one. Hope it's provided a lot of value to you. It's been Tommy. Keep it here. I'm Hell yeah. I don't know, guys. What do you think? What, like, are you guys stoked for the new season? Are you not? Like, let me know in the comments below what you guys are thinking. I'm kind of, you know, uh, Fortnite surprises me every time. So I'm excited to see what they're going to do with this uh, chapter. You know, we'll see. It's either a shit one or it's really good. And we all like it and fall in love, but I know there's going to be a lot of people playing because OG's coming back. So that's good for them. 
uh, it's good for Fortnite that they're doing that. But it, like, are they going to keep it for a long period of time? Or is it going to be just like a year? Or is it going to be just like a, a chapter thing? Or, or what are they going to do with it? I'm curious to find out. But leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you guys are thinking about the new chapter. Uh, we're going to get some sick clips in the next chapter. That's for damn sure. Um, so, yeah. All right. Let me know what you think. And uh, maybe click on one of these videos. Yeah. Check them out. If you don't like them, you like them. Just let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that sub button. Let's get it.